friends. Why settle for static when you can go cinematic? Clean 2.0 is here to animate your imagination. And I'm about to show you how to use the power of Clean 2.0 to steal the creative spotlight. Here's what we're going to cover. Clean 2.0's mastery of physics. Clean 2.0's incredible prompt adherence. It's understanding of human, animal, and even alien movements. And Clean 2.0's ability to understand and maintain artistic styles. Now, since I'm gifted with the ability to read minds, let's address those questions that are in your head. It seems that Clean 1.6 is pretty dang good. How could Clean 2.0 possibly be better? How much is this shiny new AI power tool going to cost me? And if I can't afford to use Clean 2.0, can I blame it on Biden's economy? Before we dive into this fascinating minutia, why not follow along? Simply locate the link below this video and you can begin exploring Clean 2.0 yourself for the low, low cost of $0. Today, we're going to focus on Clean's 2.0 video model. So I want you to click on the left side of your screen right here. All right, let's get down to business. Today, we are subjecting Clean 2.0 to my brilliant focus review system which stands for Features, Output, Cost, Usability, and Speed. Features. What tools are supported by Clean 2.0? So we are now in the video creation area of Clean, and we want to make sure that we're actually using version 2.0. Go to the top of your screen and click Clean 2.0 Master. Under that selection, you'll see these three tabs, Text to Video, Image to Video, and Multi Elements you're always going to get better results when you use image to video as opposed to text to video. The chances of getting the output that you really want to achieve is much more likely when you first create a quality image with your preferred AI image creator, and then you use a model such as Kling to animate that image. I'm going to quickly run through the options supported by 2.0, and then we'll dive in and create some awesome animations. Below image to video, you'll see we have these two tabs, frames and elements. 2.0 is supported under Frames. However, it is not supported under Elements. If I was to select the Elements tab, then the model up above will be switched back to Clean 1.6. We have this area to drop an image in or to click to browse to an image. If we're not feeling too creative, we can simply choose from an image below. If you want more choices to choose from, then you can simply click right here, Refresh. Below the Image Selector, we have an area to input your prompt. You'll notice since I selected one of the preset images, Kling went ahead and put in a prompt that we can run a test with or modify this prompt to see how that would turn out. What I also want to bring your attention to is this button, DeepSeek. This is really cool. If you're not familiar with DeepSeek, it's an LLM, basically like ChatGPT, but it's really cool that Kling actually provides this right here in the interface. We can click and we can chat with DeepSeek just as we would with ChatGPT, and we can chat to get different ideas about what we might want to create or even how to optimize the structure of the prompt. And as you can see, Kling went ahead and put our image into the message thread with DeepSeek so we can chat about this image. Or you can upload another image that you would like to create maybe a different version of, and then you can ask DeepSeek to structure that prompt in the optimal format to most likely achieve what you want to achieve. I'm going to go ahead and close this area for now. And then next to the DeepSeek button, you'll see that we have inspiration and presets. If I click here, you'll see that we get this pop-up box, which has these two different areas, prompt dictionary and my presets. The prompt dictionary has these different camera settings, which we can choose from. The camera rotates, the camera is stationary, handheld, and so on. If you want to use any of these, you can simply click on that option and it will be added to the prompt here below. It just added this last part. The camera zooms out. Next to the prompt dictionary over here on the pop-up box, you can see that we have my presets. And if I click right here, you'll see we already have a sample preset in this area. I can click to choose this. I can edit this. I can delete this. But what exactly is this? To demonstrate that, I'm going to actually add a new preset. I'm going to go over here to our prompt area and I'm going to hover over this little save icon. I'm going to click here and you'll see that we have a new preset. So these are basically your prompts that you might want to use again. Let's say you have a prompt that you really like or a piece of a prompt that you want to reuse. Then you would simply add that to your presets 
And then at any time, if you want to use that, you can simply hover over it and click it, and then it will populate your prompt box. And then if you like, you can manipulate it further or just use it as is. I'm going to go ahead and close that box. And now let's look at the bottom of this area where we can choose from making a five second video or a 10 second video. And we also have the option to choose from one output or two, three, or four. As of right now, a five second clean 2.0 video output is 100 credits. So if you double this to 10, you're looking at 200 credits. And if you were to specify that you wanted two outputs, then that would be 200 credits, three, 300 credits, and so on. The image to video interface is loaded. Sample picks to play with, camera presets, hiding under the inspiration button, and a deep seek button, ready to turbocharge your prompts. For features, five stars. Friends, are you ready to dive in and get your virtual feet wet? If so, give me a thumbs up by clicking that like button. Outputs. Just how good are Clean 2.0's outputs? Let's find out. Okay, I'm in the image to video area. I'm going to click right here to upload an image. I have this beautiful image that I created in Design AI. If you haven't seen my video on creating images in Design AI, make sure you check that out. And now we're going to add our prompt. And we're going to do that with the help of DeepSeek by clicking right here on the DeepSeek button. And look what happens. Because I already have an image selected, DeepSeek does some analysis on that image to create a potential image to video prompt for us. So I can go ahead and use that prompt as is, or modify it, or ask DeepSeek to modify that. Now, if you watch my previous videos, you know that I have a focus acronym in which I like to structure my prompts for images and also videos, but it's slightly different for videos. To get my results in that format, I have text which I'll paste in down below. And these instructions that I've pasted in, they're basically asking DeepSeek to format the output in this format. Focal subject movement, other movement, camera movement, unique details, style, and mood. I'll include this prompt in the notes below if you'd like to use this. I like to do this for two reasons. I like to have a structured format. So if I want to change the subject movement, I know where to change that. Or if I want to change how the camera behaves, I know where to change that. And I like the fact that I've been able to use this framework with many different models, and I always seem to get really great results. And I'll go ahead and give these instructions to DeepSeek by clicking this button right here. We now have a very detailed prompt, and it's in the framework that I asked for, thanks to DeepSeek. I will leave the default of five seconds and one output selected, and I'll go ahead and click Generate. And you'll see that we ended up with a very realistic looking waterfall with our beautiful woman slowly turning toward the camera as the camera zooms in. We have a nice mist coming off the waterfall. Overall, I think it looks great. And so you can see the difference. Here is the output that Clean 1.6 provided. Now, I would argue that even Clean 1.6 did a very nice job. However, 2.0 definitely has better prompt adherence because I did ask in the prompt that the woman turn to face the camera. And in Clean 1.6, it failed to deliver on that aspect of the prompt. I created this image of an alien orb slash puzzle in Design AI. My goal was to have it expand and all of the pieces hover in air and the camera slowly orbits around the image. And let's see how Clean 2.0 handled those instructions. Generate. And as you can see, Clean 2.0 did a pretty dang good job. Let's compare this to Clean 1.6. 1.6 did a pretty good job. However, 2.0 really delivered what I was hoping to achieve in which all of the pieces expanded out from the center of the orb as opposed to 1.6 here where they don't expand evenly from the orb. Instead, they just go to the left or to the right. And the energy molecule in the middle is much more dynamic in the 2.0 version. Okay, let's now see how Clean 2.0 handles an image with a lot of detail. I have this great image also created in Design AI. As a matter of fact, everything I'm going to show you today was created with Design AI. So if you want to know how to create images like these, make sure you check out my video in which I show you in detail how to create amazing images with Design AI. We have these two little aliens in a workshop working on this little orb. If you haven't noticed yet, I like very detailed prompts. So I will not be reading through these prompts. However, if you want any of these prompts, I'll be happy to share any of these prompts with you. Just let me know in the comments below which prompt you're interested in. 
and I'll make sure you get that. And I'm gonna go ahead and click generate. In the prompt, I specify that there's a very animated light inside the orb, and I specify that there is steam coming off of the orb. Also, I mentioned that there should be a little bit of flickering of some lights in the background, and we have that over on the left side of the video. And I think the alien movements look pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with this. And here it is in clean 1.6, so you can see the difference. And just as we saw with the waterfall, clean 1.6 also delivers some great outputs. However, the 2.0 version definitely provided more detail. I think now would be a great time to show you something else fun that you can do with Kling, and it works with your 2.0 outputs, and that is AI sound. You can click right here, and when you do, Kling will analyze the video, and then it will create a suggested prompt for creating audio to go along with that video. And you'll see, even though it's creating a prompt for itself, it sometimes creates a prompt that is a little bit too long. And that's what this message down here says. And you can tell by these letters that are in gold right here at the end of ambiance. And so that goes slightly over the limit. So we can just shorten this prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this word right here, subtle. And now our prompt is not too long. And now the prompt for our audio looks good. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom of our screen and click generate and you can see that this will consume 10 credits. And now we have our output, and we have these little squares down here at the bottom. These represent four different versions of the audio that Kling has provided for us to choose from. And we can hover over each of these to try them out. Here's our first one, our second one, our third one, and our fourth one. I have a fox detective in a dark, mysterious alley. I thought this might be a good scenario to test more of the audio with. I have our prompt down below. I'm gonna go ahead and click generate. All right, we have our output. I'm gonna go ahead and click AI sound. We'll go with the default audio prompt that Kling provided, and here's our result. I think the video turned out nice and mysterious, and I think the audio fits the scene pretty well. Design AI is really great at creating consistent characters. I have a video which covers the process in detail, so make sure you go check that out. And for those of you familiar with HipCat, you know this guy's got style. Let's check out his hip hop moves in this alley. <laughs> Fantastic. Now we're going to test Clean 2.0's ability to maintain artistic styles. I created this cool alien type of insect sketch drawing in Design AI, and I'd like to have Clean 2.0 provide a little bit of animation to this while maintaining the style. Let's see how it turns out. In my prompt, I asked for a little bit of movement. I didn't want it to be overwhelming, and I wanted the alien insect to return to its original position at the end of the animation, and it did that. And I'd have to say Clean 2.0 did a great job of respecting everything I have in that prompt. And here I have a fox wearing a jacket in a Van Gogh painting, and in the prompt, I'm specifying that the fox turns to look at the background, appreciating the subtle movements while maintaining the Van Gogh aesthetics. And I'd have to say it turned out very nice. This is exactly what I had in mind. Fantastic. Okay, friends, can you guess my inspiration for this picture? If you guessed Salvador Dali, you're right on the money. I created this, like all these images, in Design AI. My goal is to respect the artistic integrity of this image and to play off of these elements that are in the image. The clocks continuing to hover and melt and the woman, I'm specifying that she's breathing deeply and it's very noticeable and that the camera slowly zooms out. And let's see what we get. Beautiful. That's exactly what I was hoping to achieve. Friends, I'm sure you recognize this image. This is from Jumanji, of course. I thought it'd be fun to grab a few movie images and have different scenarios play out from those scenes that we all know and love. For this image, I'm specifying that a dinosaur comes running up behind the Jumanji crew and they basically panic. And let's see what happens. I think the video is fun. I'm not sure what's happening to our Jumanji characters though. I'm guessing they all got squashed. <laughs> anyway, let's check out another. And here I have an image from the 2022 Batman movie titled The Batman. A tense moment between Catwoman and Batman. And I thought it'd be fun to have 
Catwoman give Batman a kiss, and then Batman is so excited that he does a happy dance about receiving a kiss from Catwoman. And let's see how it turns out. All right, Batman is super happy. He does his happy dance, and we even have a scene change, so he's doing the happy dance throughout the city. Fantastic. Clean 2.0 definitely delivers. I will say that not every output is Oscar worthy yet, but with improved prompt adherence, motion physics, realism, and scene complexity, overall, it's five stars for output. Friends, what do you think of Clean 2.0? Have you tried it? Share your masterpieces or your AI catastrophes in the comments below. Cost. Is 2.0 priced for the people or just the oligarchs? The basic account is free and currently provides 166 credits per month. As of this recording, all paid accounts are on sale. The standard account provides 660 credits a month. It's normally $10 a month. Register now and get your first month at $6.99. The pro account provides 3,000 credits a month. It is normally $37 monthly. Register now and get your first month for $25.99. The premier plan provides 8,000 credits a month. It is normally $92 a month. Register now and get your first month for $64.99. Sign up for an annual plan and save even more money. Generating 2.0 outputs is a premium at 100 credits per video, while Kling 1.6 is only 20 credits. Is Kling 2.0 five times better than Kling 1.6? While I think it's amazing, I don't think it's five times amazing. For cost, four stars. Usability. Is the Kling image to video interface easy to navigate and supportive of my sometimes questionable creative ambitions? Kling recently polished their UI, making an already intuitive system even more elegant. It's logical, aesthetically pleasing, and almost as user-friendly as me. For usability, five stars. Speed. In this world, time is the ultimate currency. Does Kling respect yours? My videos took between three to four minutes to create, which is less time than it takes most people to pick out a show on Netflix. For speed, another five stars. According to my rigorous, unbiased analysis, Clean 2.0 achieves an overall rating of 4.8 stars. For all my subscribers out there, thank you. I love you. And for all of you who have not yet subscribed, why not go ahead and subscribe? Join in the love. Now, creating video from an image is impressive. But what if you don't have the perfect image? Or what if the image needs a little enhancement? Before you make your image move, you might need to make it better. And that, my friends, is where my previous discourse comes in. I recently dove into the world of Design AI, a fantastic tool for conjuring and refining images. Think of it as preparing your canvas before you make it do things. Click here to watch it now. Until next time, friends, stay creative, stay curious, and most importantly, stay subscribed.